The last two special methods are actually new to C++11, and they exist just for the purpose of providing efficiency. And these are the move constructor and the move assignment operator. The idea is that these are to be called when one object is basically about to go away and so any memory that was allocated in it can be moved over to another object. The most common case of this is when you're returning a value from a function and if you're returning it by value, which is how you normally do return things from functions, because if that local variable is about to pass out of scope, it no longer needs its internal memory. So the move operators are supposed to do two things. Oh, I'll start with the move constructor. The move constructor takes an object and it needs to be an R value reference and these are written in C++11 as two ampersands. So a single ampersand is just a regular reference. Uh, two references or two ampersands is an R value reference. An R value is something that you cannot assign into and so the idea is these are things that are about to pass out of existence. And what do we need to do here? Well it turns out that in this case the constructor is fairly simple. Well, we'll come back to that to this last one. The other thing you're supposed to do is you are supposed to set the object that was passed in as an R value reference to be in a state where it's kind of safe. But it probably shouldn't have access to whatever memory now belongs in the new object. So for the case of our pointer here, the new object gets to point to the memory that f had been pointing to. And now f doesn't point to anything. And so when you leave the move operator, you're supposed to be you're supposed to have the object that was passed in in something that's a valid state, but that doesn't necessarily have the memory associated with it. Something else that I want to do here is I want to make sure that this string is not just copied over but copied with a move operation itself. There is a call the, in the standard libraries for move and when you do this the thing that you pass in you cannot use it anymore after this because as I just described it will be put in kind of a valid but non-useful state uh, after this operation has been performed. So this is what the move constructor looks like. It's, it's basically it's a copy constructor except it doesn't make a copy it moves the memory over from one to the other. You can also make an assignment operator that takes an R value reference and it should it will only be called when something is safe to, to do that and generally the in that situation it's because you were invoking move on it. So this concludes the uh, all the special methods. I guess there's one other thing that I want to to mention. We'll come back and we'll have another video on that. I'll talk about how you can specify that some of these methods should not be in existence.